real quick because I'm rushing already. I am wearing these Lululemon. I think these are the Align leggings in olive green. Love them. And then this shirt is open in the back and the sports bra is like that. Just this like baby pink shirt. And the sports bra is like this um, gray and white, uh, I guess like stripe kind of print. And I am wearing my Asics running shoes just because I hurt my ankles. I'm wearing black socks. I meant to put on white, but I'm in a rush, so I don't even care. We are going to get my hair done after Orange Theory. And as a coat, it's like 55 degrees right now, which is insane. So I have this Lululemon jacket. Let me put it on and I'll show you guys. Okay, there is a lot of color going on right now, but I really just don't care. I don't care because I'm probably not gonna see anyone, so it doesn't matter. I'm just running errands, but I have this Lululemon black little workout jacket. So yeah, honestly, I'm just gonna throw this on. I don't need like a real jacket for outside, but yeah, let's go to Orange Theory. Guys, it is the most gorgeous day out. Like it is spring right now. And we are at the end of, we are in the end of February, but it literally feels like a spring day. It's 55 degrees. Sorry, the steering wheel is blocking me. It's 55 degrees and oh, I don't know if it's just me, but like when it's really nice out and it's good weather, I just feel more productive, just happier, just gets me in a better mood. I just need like a sunny day and 50, 55 degrees, that's like a, the most perfect day ever. I like love it. So I am on my way to Orange Theory. As I said, when I'm showing you my workout outfit, it is 1040, I have an 11 a.m. workout class. And then I am going to get my hair done, which I am so excited about. I said that's so weird, but I'm so excited about because the last time I got my hair done, it was, I honestly forget. Usually I get like a haircut. I've been really bad guys. Like I should be getting haircuts like every three to six months just to like keep it healthy. But it just grows so fast. And I am in desperate need of a haircut right now. So I'm getting a haircut, just cutting the dead nothing crazy different and I need more blonde in my hair because I was looking back at old pictures and videos and I was so much more like blonde like freshly blonde I'm still like blonde but it kind of grew out a little bit like my front pieces as you can see like when I put it in a pony it like starts from there and so I figured I would show you guys what I do to my hair when I do get my hair done it's going to be a little more drastic than like my typical winter hair because I usually don't go crazy blonde. I'm not going crazy blonde. I'm doing like the same thing. I'm just like updating it and like brightening my hair. And I don't know, I just feel like I look more alive when I'm blonde. I don't know if anyone else can relate or if you're a brunette out there, then that's a different story. But my blondes, you can agree with me. We just want it more fresh and bright and not grown out. Which, fun fact, whoa, my glasses. Fun fact is, not fun fact, but my hair actually always looks better when it's grown out, in my opinion. But lately, I just wanna like lift everything. I kind of get like, I don't say, oh, I wanna balayage when I get my hair done. I'll show you. I kind of like, not handpick pieces of my hair, but like me and my hairdresser will sit there. And she knows already by now, like what to do with my hair because I've been going to her for years. But I just tell her like what I want done and basically what I do is heavily highlight the bottom and when I mean highlight I tell her I like a white blonde. I don't like a brassy like strawberry blonde look. I don't like that gold blonde. Um, but I don't like like the contrast because my base is like a very light dirty blonde brown in a way and I tell her I know you need to like transition it into the white blonde I don't like like this to white blonde so like she kind of uses it's not gold blonde you don't see it but there is like contrast of like different blondes but like it's definitely more of a white blonde and it looks like really blonde right now in the ponytail but you'll see 
like I just want to lift everything I wear my hair in a middle part and I frame the two front pieces like a white blonde I heavily highlight the bottom and subtle highlights up here I have like very subtle because I do like my root to show and I love the contrast so I figured I would show you guys what I do with my hair and now I'm just rambling in my car because I'm on my way to Orange Theory but yeah I'm just gonna play music now and just pump myself up for this workout class I'm super excited love working out and I just can't wait I just need a good sweat this morning you know but anyway yeah so I'll just like have to pick up something really fast after orange to eat because my hair appointment is at 12 30 and my workout class is from 11 to 12 but anyway yeah so I figured I'd take you with me if you are new to my channel my name is Deanna for those of you that don't know welcome to my channel if you're new please subscribe if you're not already give this video a thumbs up if you like it click that post notification bell so you can get notified every time I post a video because I do post every week sometimes two videos a week sometimes one I do post every Sunday but I am trying to post Wednesdays and Sundays, but the past two weeks I haven't posted on Wednesdays just because I've been so crazy busy. But yeah, maybe this week I'll post Wednesday and Sunday. We shall see. But yes, definitely be on a lookout. And please leave in the comments if you like this video. Um, sorry if you hear my blinker. If you like this video, what other videos you want to see from me in the future, if you're liking vlogs, because I've been kind of straying away from vlogs. This is the thing. I love vlogs. I watch vlogs. I want to be a vlogger. I love making vlogs. But the reason why I've been doing sit down videos is just because I feel like I am just starting YouTube. I mean, I started in November, but because I'm new, I feel like no one cares about my everyday life and what I do because I'm so new. So no one really knows me or about me yet. And you guys are just getting to know me. So I'm trying to post like good content and videos that will help you guys and then hopefully I can post more vlogs once you get to know me and care about my everyday life so I need 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 to know from you guys if you still want to see vlogs just let me know but I figured this isn't just like a typical vlog this is about my hair so there's some good content you know but all right, now I'm talking way too long in the car and I'm being repetitive. But follow me on Instagram. The link is always in the description. I post there like every day. So you'll get to like interact with me more on Instagram. So yeah, let's get going with this vlog. Okay, just got here and going in through the back entrance because there's parking in the back. And also I'm in my car right now and this is the dirt, but I'm gonna go on in and then I will check and the... <laughs> guys, I can't talk today. <laughs> and then I'll check with you after my workout and let you know how it was. But it's a power day today because I looked it up and so excited because I love power days. <laughs> Oh my god, guys, what a workout. I am drenched right now. I quickly washed my face in there, washed my hands, and put like a little water in my hair. There was like so much sweat and I feel gross. And now I need to go get my hair done so I feel bad for my hairdresser. So put water in my hair. But oh my god, guys, what a workout. I am dead right now. I'm so out of breath. It's like 12.05. My hair appointment's at 12.30, so... I'm getting a smoothie first and then I'm rushing there because I haven't eaten all day and it's 12.05 and I don't like to eat before my workout class just because Orange Theory is such an intense workout. You literally cannot eat like two hours before. Like you just can't or you'll throw up and like the workout today if I ate anything I would have thrown up. Like I felt like I was going to throw up from like my water. <laughs> it's that bad. My phone just fell. Sorry about that guys. There was a cop but... Okay, I'm gonna like about to make a sharp turn and all right excuse my whatever I was just doing but um yeah so like I said I have any in and I'm gonna get a nice smoothie and have something for my workout I look so awful right now please don't judge please be nice but yeah, it's kind of like, I feel gross because I have no time to shower, but it's okay because I'm gonna get my hair 
washed right now. Sorry guys, I'm like turning, I'm like rushing. Not a good time to be vlogging, but vlog comes first. I guess I'll just have to shower after I get my hair done. Not the end of the world. I really needed that workout today. Yeah, also it is so nice out guys. I'm literally just wearing my tank. I didn't even need to put on my Lululemon jacket because it is so hot out. Like I'm amazed. Like this is all I'm wearing, so feeling good. All right, I'm gonna get a smoothie and I'll check back in with you guys. Okay, I just got my green smoothie from Skinny Buddha in Mount Kisco. I don't know if you guys are from, familiar with the area. Um, I don't live in Mount Kisco, but I did the Orange Theory in Mount Kisco today. And the green smoothie, it's like, has kale, matcha, I think green tea, cinnamon, a bunch of healthy things, and almond milk. And yeah, it's so good, I love it. So yummy and filled with all good nutrients. So good. Okay, so now I'm gonna go get my hair done and I'll check in with you guys then. Got a nice cut. So don't mind me, I have like no makeup on, I look crazy. But that's what the back is looking like and the front. Oh, healthy, healthy cut. Some fresh highlights, I'm loving it. Love, I go to, it was called the Red Door Spa in the Westchester Mall in White Plains, but now it's like MYXP. I was vlogging like, when I was walking into the hair salon, so that's the name of it, and I go to Susan. She's the best, literally the best, like never disappoints, love it. Okay guys, so I'm back at my house, and I'm literally like propping up my phone on a package in front of our window because the lighting is so much better this way, but this is my hair. I got it blown out. I absolutely love how it came out. It just looks fresh and it's freshly highlighted, brighter, shorter, not much shorter, but like I cut the dead, it's a healthy cut, cut my angles. So I have angles and layers in my hair and I trim those. I like trim the front pieces like as like angles. And basically what I do is I frame the two front pieces like a white blonde and then I do subtle highlights up in my roots, but nothing from the root. Nothing is ever like directly from the root. It's always like gradual, as you can see. So I have subtle highlights over there and then I heavily highlight the bottom and the back, I'm not sure. Let me see what it looks like. I mean, I saw it after and it looked really, like I loved the way the back looked too. So I heavily highlight the bottom and I do subtle highlights up here because I don't want that line effect. I like when it gradually goes in to the heavily highlighted bottom so it's more natural and it's not like that straight line. So I know I have to bring up highlights up here in the back, but just very subtle, nothing from the root. So yeah, I'm liking the hair and <laughs> it's like so clean, honestly. I watched Emma McDonald, she's a vlogger if you don't watch her. Um, I watched her vlog after she got her hair done and she's like, you know that feeling after you wash it and it's so clean where it just like plops and you can't like play with it? Well, that is my hair right now. So like every time I try to flip it, it doesn't flip. It's just like, but whatever, yeah. So this is the hair just all on my face and I'm kind of living for it. I love big hair and just a lot of it okay so anyway also my hair salon is in the Westchester mall like I was saying so I kind of picked up a few things in the mall first in the hair salon I got these brushes for my mom because she wanted them but I'm actually going to test them out myself my hairdresser got them for us and then I bought them off of her to get to my mom it's these just two round brushes nanothermic olivia garden okay 
So these two round brushes are different in sizes. And if I blow out my hair, I use a round brush. I usually don't blow out my hair. I always let it dry natural, but I do like to blow out my two front pieces. So it'll always be like smooth in the front and then it'll go into like my natural curly waves, not really curly, just like wavy beachy hair. And I like damp my hair, but I always use a round brush to blow out the front two pieces. Like I'll take after my shower, I'll show you guys in a video. I'll take like this much of my front piece here and there and I'll like just blow those out and then damp the rest of my hair and then it dries really nice naturally. Or sometimes I won't even blow dry it but yeah so that's when i prefer round like a round brush or if i'm blowing out my hair which i'm not unless i'm going to an event if i want it blown out i usually like to curl it and then i picked up the Kerastase. i i'm not gonna even try to say it but these shampoo like this shampoo this brand this hair brand is apparently like really really good for your hair um they have a bunch of different types of shampoos and conditioners so my what i call her my hairstylist i'm not gonna call her that susan my hairdresser my hairdresser hairstylist hairdresser where me and my mom are close with her we've been going to her for years and she always recommended this brand for us and honestly i was just like i'm gonna do it because i want to keep my hair bright and looking healthy and good and hydrated so i literally use pantene now but now I'm using the, it's just like the multi-protector shampoo. It smells so good, guys. This brand is unreal. And I've heard nothing but great things about this brand. Like at like most salons, they use this brand. When I get my hair washed there, they use it. They have a really good, I got the purple conditioner instead of the matching conditioner because she said you can use this conditioner every time you shower. It's not going to. She told me not to use a purple shampoo every time I showered. She said use it once a week because it could start making my hair look dull if I use a purple shampoo that much. So she said, if you use the purple conditioner, it's kind of like the matching conditioner, but with like that purple shampoo benefit, but it's not as overpowering as a purple shampoo. So she said, I can use this every time I wash my hair. And she told me the amount I should be using. And it's so crazy because I use so much shampoo. Like when I use Pantene, I do like five pumps, but she told me like, you should be using like a small circle in the middle of your hand and like have like a little bump of that shampoo. And she said to start in the, like make your hair sobbing wet, like soaked and like brush your hair out, not brush it, but like rinse your hair out. And then you put that little bit of shampoo and you start from the back and you work your way up because she said it'll start spreading. But if you start up here, you're missing all down here. So she like taught me how to do it. I don't know if I'm making sense. It's hard to like explain it right now. But yeah, I mean, this was a splurge. The shampoo is $31. The conditioner is $40. But to me, the amounts that she showed me, it's going to last me so long. And I wash my hair every other day. It's not like I'm washing it every day unless I work out. To me, it's worth it. It's going to take good care of my hair. And I really think you guys should try out that brand because I, every time I get my hair washed from that place, oh my God, it just lasts me like so long it, it just keeps your hair so clean and fresh and just feels smooth looks good looks healthy and fresh and i love it and then i just went to sephora and picked up a lot of my skincare that i'm running out of so if you see my skincare routine my laneige moisturizer i think i'm good on the face wash right now i'm not running out and then just my banana bright eye cream from that brand if you watch that video, I just can't pronounce it. Ole Henriksen. Ole Henriksen. Don't laugh at me, please. And then I picked, oh, I got this as a gift, actually. The Bum Bum Cream. I got the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream and the Coco Cabana Cream as my birthday gift. So thank you, Sephora, because it is my birthday month. It was February 11th, for those of you who don't know. And then I picked up the Sis, oh whoa, the Sis Lily Lashes, which I'm so excited about. I'm filming a video. I don't know if it's going to be up before this, but I'm doing like a Casey Holmes look and I needed a pair of lashes. So guys, how gorgeous. Can we just take a moment? I love like that wispy long look. So yeah, these are them and I'm like so excited about it. They're like Oh, they're glued to that. Yeah, so I might have to trim them. I have to measure them. So excited about the lashes. And then I just got some lash glue in black. 
It's the Duo Dark Tone. I got all this from Sephora. I don't know if I said that. And then, oh, I really wanted to try these. It was a splurge. Honestly, $20 for scrunchies is ridiculous. But like I said, I'm actually starting to take care of my hair, even though there was like, my hair isn't damaged, especially, which is really good because for how much I highlight it, I don't highlight it often, but the fact that I highlight it and like there's bleach in my hair from the blonde, it's really like, I'm very lucky to have healthy hair, but I wanna keep up with it. So I got the Slip Silk Skinny Scrunchies. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't know if you hear me, I'm like covering my mouth. I got the Slip Skinny Scun Slip Silk Skinny Scrunchies. Oh my God, that's like all S's. If you're watching this, try to say that. Slip Silk Skinny Scrunchies. That's gonna be stuck in my head now. But yeah, I got these three. There was like a little cheetah leopard print, a pretty like champagne beige and a black. Honestly, I just like liked those colors and it'll be good in my hair. It's not gonna pull on my hair because they're silk. So I'm gonna try them out and if I don't like them, I won't get them again. I got this, okay, I have a brown Sephora eyeliner, but I got a mini one like a really long time ago. That's what I've been using in my videos, but it got so small that I can't use it. So I just got the Makeup Forever brown eyeliner and yeah, I love this. So I'm gonna try and, I'm gonna link everything below for you guys then my ride or die mascara the lancome grandiose extreme the best mascara ever in all my videos i'm not we i'm not wearing fake lashes or extensions in any of my makeup videos it is this mascara it is the best then i got oh just my nars concealer that i use in my videos too in custard the radiant creamy concealer i was running out of that i ran out of that and then I need to get my, they don't sell Philosophy Skincare in Sephora anymore, but it is online. So I need to order my toner. I didn't run out yet, but I'm running low on it and I never like want to run out. So I'm going to like order that as a backup. And then they also gave me the YSL All Hours Foundation and they gave me a bunch of shades. So maybe I'll try this in a video because I don't wear foundation. I don't even wear tinted moisturizer. Only in my videos I put on tinted moisturizer because I want it. I want it to like look better in video because it looks so different. Usually don't even, I don't even own foundation to be honest, but I'm going to try it out for the video. It'll be like my dramatic look with my lashes. Also in Sephora, I tried the Anastasia soft brown like setting eyebrow gel and I have the clear one and this is the thing. I have thick eyebrows and I don't fill them out. And the soft brown, like, it didn't make a difference. So I was like, why am I going to spend $20 on this gel when I have the clear one from Anastasia already? Just for my videos to show that I put product in my eyebrow. But I'm not going to do that because, you know what? You guys use what you need and like for your eyebrows. If I do know, though, Anastasia is known for their eyebrow products. So if you're ever looking for a good eyebrow product, I would definitely recommend Anastasia. Okay, so then I went to Free People in my mall and they don't sell their in movement or their movement clothes. So one vlogger that I watch, Gretchen, she owns, it's these like high rise length, seven eighth length Good Karma leggings and then the square neck Good Karma bra. It's in like this vintage gray. Let me click on it for you guys. Let's see. And I think I'm gonna order it like now because I really have been wanting them for so long. So I'm gonna order them. I just wanted to show you guys the color close up. I'm gonna order them and let you guys know if I like them. If not, I'll return them. Okay, so I just picked up food from the restaurant because my family restaurant, but I haven't eaten since that green smoothie earlier today and I'm starved. So I got a house salad. It's with onions and tomato. There's olives, but I don't eat olives. I don't eat the olives. Then I put avocado, fresh mozzarella, and blackened chicken. So it's grilled chicken, but just with like spices and it's spicy, but like not too spicy, so good. And then our homemade dressing, it's our house dressing. And it's just a little bit of olive oil and vinegar. So super healthy here. And then for lunch, this is for lunch tomorrow for work because I have work. I got two veggie patties and then just a side of steamed broccoli. And this is like more for a snack. It depends like throughout the day and I just put a little bit of ketchup there. But yeah, so I'm gonna eat this now. So yeah, I'm gonna eat my salad now and then I need to shower. I was gonna shower first, but I'm so hungry. I'm literally shaking right now. And I wanted to show you guys what I got quickly, but I need to eat. Then I will come on after I shower 
and see. I don't know if I'm gonna end the vlog here. I don't know, we'll see if I wanna vlog in the moment, but I will keep you guys updated and see you soon. Guys, I just got the free people set that I showed you online and I'm obsessed. Look at it, it's like the sports bra. I forget what it's called. I'll link it in the, descri in the description below for the video, from this video. But look at the color. It's like this vintage gray. Absolutely obsessed with it. And you can work out with a shirt over it or just like this. I'll probably put a shirt over it depending on what I do or just like a little jacket, but I love it so much.